52 cents. Okay, 53. Well, I'm going to need a lot more than that if I want to go to the movies with Kim tomorrow. Sure, I could get the money from Dad. The problem is, he said that before he'll give it to me, I'll have to wash the car. Can you believe it? He actually said I'd appreciate the money more if I worked for it. I told him I'd always say thank you, but he said that's not what he meant by appreciate. Well... Before I do any work, I'm going to take some time off. goes for a walk, she pays someone to sprinkle rose petals in her path. Shocking. Simply shocking. I'll say. I can get you to do it for free. <laughs> now, let's practice. Oh. <laughs> oh, you can do better than that. When I said rose petals, I meant lots of rose petals. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh. They, they, uh... They seem to be a bit, uh, stuck together. Oh, come on. What are you waiting for? Oh, yeah. Start sprinkling. <laughs> oh, oh dear. Uh, a bit, uh, dewy, aren't they? Mmm, <laughs> oh. something smells delicious. Let's find out what it is. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, stop that. Oh, you're just getting my feet all sucky. Hey, something's cooking. It sure is. I'm about to win. No, I think he means that wonderful smell. Let's finish the game later. aroma. Thanks. Since I tried that new lemon scented shampoo, I've been getting all kinds of compliments. Wait. That's not me, you smell. No, it's something else. Something tasty. suppose you have any more of that whatever it is sorry this is the last bite of purple potato pancakes in this batch oh. <laughs> and they were quite tasty too <laughs> purple potato pancakes what are those mm -hmm. they're from an old Pennipit family cookbook in fact they're my invisible friend's favorite food <laughs> what's that Pennipit? Of course, I'll give them your recipe. Thank you, very, very thank you. <clears throat> the card is blank. Oh, come on, Walrus. I can't read this. Yes, Pennipin's penmanship is pretty poor. But trust me, these are the most perfect pancakes to ever pass your palate. Oh. 
piles of tasty treats that tantalize the tummy. But nothing comes close to this most delicious yummy. The recipe is rare. It really ranks highly. Made with loving care. I never eat them shyly. Oh, purple potato pancakes. They're appetite appeasing. Those purple potato pancakes. They're perfectly pleasing. In the morning or midday. Invited. <laughs> but who'll help us make so many pancakes? After all, the recipe's quite complicated. It has a lot of steps. Oh, how complicated could it be? <laughs> well, first you hike four miles to the purple potato patch in the Wonderland Mountains. Oh. Once there, you dig the potatoes, put them in a potato sack, and carry them back home, where you wash them, peel them, chop them, Boil them, mash them, shape them into pancakes, and finally cook them up on the griddle. Okay, so it's complicated. You don't have to rub it in. You're right, Walrus. You will need help. In fact, I decree that everyone will pitch in. Oh, 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 if you want to appreciate something that is enjoyed more and be thankful for it, you have to work for it. In fact, I'd like to be first to volunteer. <gasps> Your Majesty! You mean you're going to help make pancakes? No. I just said I'd like to be first to volunteer. I'm not actually going to do it. Uh, I mean, I am the Queen. It would ruin my reputation to be seen uh, working. <laughs> First of all, I would like to thank Pinniped for painting this poster for purple potato pancake preparation. Take a bow, Pinniped. Why, <laughs> Pinniped, I think you're blushing. <laughs> <laughs> now, as we complete each task, we will color in that section of the pancake first. Who would like to hike into the mountains, dig for the potatoes, and bring them back here? Gee, that sounds like a lot of work. I can do it. I've been working out. Oh, it's true. The kid can bench press ten ounces without even breaking a sweat. Even so, this job requires someone a bit bigger. After all, we need a lot of potatoes. How about you? Yeah. Uh... I would, but knowing I'd kept the Hatter from having all the fun would break my heart. Uh, I'm touched, yeah. But uh, how can you honestly expect me to deprive Tweedledee of the experience? That's so kind, but I could never live with myself knowing I'd kept my brother from enjoying himself. Uh, please! My conscience just won't let me accept the job when I know how much it means to Alice. Uh, me? What a trooper! Isn't she great, guys? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and don't worry, Alice. We'll be behind you every step of the way. You mean you will come along and help? Uh, no, Alice. Behind you every step of the way is just an expression. What Hatter meant was we'll be rooting you on. <laughs> well, we're just sitting around here waiting for you to get back. <laughs> <laughs> with those shovels. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to forget about your invisible friend, Pinniped. Where are you three going with those shovels? We're hiking far into the Wonderland Mountains to dig purple potatoes so we can make a big batch of purple potato pancakes for everyone. Well, if you're going to do that much work, it's important to get Plenty of liquids. Uh, care for some mineral water? Oh, no, thank you. I've been drinking from Pinniped's canteen. But if you want to help, 
We could sure use a few extra pairs of hands to help with the digging. Well, I have the hands. But I promised a friend I'd meet him for a round of golf. Why don't you ask the Hatter here or the Tweedles to help you? We tried, but they didn't seem too interested once they found out how much hard work was involved. I see. Well, I have a story you may find interesting. Once there was a spoiled prince who loved shoes. In fact, he got a brand new pair every single day. But when the king grew tired of daily trips to the shoe store, he told the prince he would buy no new shoes until the old ones wore out. I'd rather go barefoot than wear day-old shoes, the prince said archly. But the pampered prince's temper tootsies was soon sore. So he marched into a shoemaker's shop and demanded service. I'm busy, said the shoemaker. Prince or no prince, you'll have to wait. But the prince didn't want to wait. He found a spare bench in the shop and made himself a pair of shoes. To the prince's surprise, they turned out rather well. Back home, the prince asked his father why he was so happy with these simple shoes when he had been unhappy with the fanciest footwear money could buy. Because, the king replied, when you do something for yourself, it means more to you than all the freebies in the world. The prince felt like a heel for acting so spoiled before and vowed to change his ways. So he gave away all his expensive shoes and opened a chain of do-it-yourself shoemaking shops. He was quite successful and lived happily ever after. <laughs> well, it's true. We will appreciate the purple pancakes more by working for them. We just wish the Hatter Hair and Tweedles felt the same way. Well, thanks for the story, Mr. Caterpillar. See you later. Gee, it sounds like they've got purple pancake problems. Don't you know it's not polite to eavesdrop? Besides, what do you care about purple pancakes anyway? Are you kidding? Purple is my favorite color. Well, personally, I prefer green. But that's another story. Uh, sorry, my big wiggly buddy. I don't have time for another story. I need to help Alice and the walrus. You? I can't believe you want to help them dig up potatoes. Please, and get dirt under my claws? No, I have other ways of lending a helping paw. <laughs> More cheese puffs? Oh, no thanks. I'm saving room for those purple potato pancakes. I can taste them now. Really? My chips are just barbecue flavor. Gee, if I didn't know better, I'd say the four of you were trying to get out of helping with the pancakes. Oh, come on, we've helped a lot already. That's right. As soon as Alice and Walrus left, we colored in the places on the chart to show what they were doing. Wow. You must be exhausted. Yeah, how true that is. But hey, it's all in a day's work. You know, I'm surprised you aren't racing to the potato patch. Of course, not everyone cares about buried treasure. Did you say buried treasure? Yes. Of course, I don't know if it's true, but they say there's buried treasure in the potato patch. Well... Have a relaxing afternoon. So, now we see why Alice was so quick to volunteer to dig the potato. Wow. The potatoes may be purple, but the ground there is gold. There may be a bonanza of gold bouillon just waiting to be found. Or a billion bags of big gold doubloons buried beneath the ground. I may be dumb, but D will agree we're wasting precious time waiting around. Grab the shovels, it's time for us to go. Before you know it, we'll be rolling in dough. There's gold in the ground. Never can get enough of glittery yellow stuff. Gold in the ground. Better keep it hush, hush.
Maybe it's an ancient 12 karat cobblestone road. Perhaps the pot at the end of the rainbow overflow. Hey, dirt overload. Treasure trove, truck load, the great granddaddy of all the other mother lows. Thanks for letting me carry all the shovels. GD, I always knew you had a heart of gold. Now with pick and pan in hand, we're heading for the hills of Wonderland. There's gold in the ground. Brother, get ready to live a life of luxury. Gold in the ground. Better keep it hush, hush. If we hurry, we can catch him. <laughs> <laughs> You guys, we'll be happy to do the digging. Well, we appreciate your offer, but, but we thought you, you thought didn't... we didn't want to help. Oh, <laughs> why would you think a silly thing like that? Uh, maybe because earlier we all weaseled out of doing any work by coming up with every lame excuse we could think of. But we've had a change of heart. We realize that we can't stand by and let a little girl do a hatter's job or a Tweedles. Now stand back. We are professionals, but this could get a little messy. to make plenty of purple potato pancakes. Indeed. Why, you were working so hard, we'd almost think you were trying to find buried treasure. Man, if I never see another purple potato, it'll be too soon. Then you might want to look the other way. I just found one in my pocket. <laughs> Gee, you guys don't sound like you just found buried treasure to me. That's because we didn't. About all we did get were sore muscles. And purple stains on our fingers. Yeah, we're all potatoed out. There's no way we're going to get roped into doing any more work. So, the purple potatoes didn't have gold and jewels in them, huh? In them? Wait, I thought the treasure was buried with them. In them, with them, what's the difference? Look, Cat, picking the proper preposition is very important. Right, Eru, since a preposition is a word that tells how two things relate to each other, such as in, on, to, around, near, or with. If you meant the treasure is buried in the potatoes, you shouldn't have said with them, or around them, or near them, or by them. So tell us, Cat, which preposition is it going to be? Well, I don't know if the story is true, but you know how you'll sometimes find pearls inside oysters? I've heard it's the same with purple potatoes. You can find purple potatoes inside oysters, too? Um, here. I think he means the purple potatoes have treasure in them. But Alice and the walrus are probably about to start peeling and chopping the potatoes right now. You know what that means? That it's almost time for the potato picnic, so a between meal snack right now might spoil my appetite. No! We've got to get there before they split those spuds. <laughs> something wrong? Are you kidding? Alice, if I'm not mistaken, you and Walrus are about to peel potatoes with absolutely no formal training of any kind? Training? Who ever heard of needing training to peel potatoes? Show them here. As you can see, the four of us are graduates of... <laughs> Spud U. Spud U? You as in university, Wonderland's most prestigious institute of higher potato learning. You went to college where all you study is potatoes? D not just potatoes. Last semester, we had a visiting professor who taught a seminar on rutabagas. Oh, oh, whoa. <laughs> who will ever forget that? Anyway, the point is, these diplomas prove that we are very appealing guys. Stroke. I prefer the side to side. How hair narrow or wide? I don't know. You decide. We are appealing. A potato knowledge sounds you really. We mastered in digging and scrubbing. Yes, heating, brushing and rubbing. Once again, hey, with feeling we are. 
realize potato peeling could be so complicated. Well, complicated or not, we don't mind doing it. After all, you gentlemen did so much work already. I know, but the least we can do is peel, chop, boil, and mash these for you to see if there's anything inside of them. What my brother means is, we're glad to help. Now, Hare, did you bring the purple potato peel? Oh, of course. I always bring the purple potato peelers. <laughs> Treasure yet? Not yet. Let's chop him. Don't chop him. in the potatoes but potatoes naturally they're potatoes not oysters it's not as if they have pearls in them <laughs> oh all right welcome to the purple potato pancake picnic everyone <laughs> I know you all worked very hard to follow this complicated recipe. And to reward you, I will be happy to be the first to taste the fruits of your labors. <laughs> uh, how does your eating first reward them? Haven't you ever heard it's better to give than to receive? Now get me a plate. <laughs> Oh, it's delightful, Whoa, it's delightful. <laughs> How are they, Your Majesty? Even tastier than they smell, eh? They're like rubber. They have no taste at all. No taste? No way. Do you know how hard we work to make those? You slave over a hot stove all day long. But do they appreciate you? You said a mouthful. Well, I want to taste a mouthful. Go oh. on. What? Yes. An amusing little pancake, dry with just a hint of fruitiness. Indeed, a riot of flavors that tickle the taste buds. <laughs> oh, please, don't tell me you like them. Like them? <laughs> They're delicious. <laughs> they are pretty good, even if they're a little chewy. I wouldn't say chewy. To me, they have a springy texture. Oh, try another bite, Your Majesty. What's going on here? Why are you all pretending to like these lousy, lumpy, lavender flapjacks? They're not pretending. In fact, maybe you'd like the pancakes if you'd help make them. You know the saying, if you want to appreciate something, you have to work for it. Oh, come on. What chucklehead said that? Uh... You did, Your Majesty. Well, you ask. Wait a minute. Do you mean to tell me I'd actually like these hot cakes if I'd help make them? That's right. In fact, we sort of had planned to help only with the eating. But I have to admit, I'm glad we ended up doing more. Yes, <laughs> Glad to be of service. Well, then, maybe next time I'll help, too. <gasps> You would work, Your Majesty? Well, don't look so surprised. I'm actually quite a good cook. 
Why, as recently as last month, I made a bag of microwave popcorn. <laughs> and the point is, a little work never hurt anyone, even the queen. <laughs> No, she doesn't frighten me. Perhaps it could enlighten me to extend the regal hand and help out in Wonderland. A little work never hurts. Roll up your royal sleeve. A little work never hurts. The opportunity to see. A little work never hurts. You're the one who win. Cause life is more delicious when more of you goes in. I'll taste the fruits of my even done. Harry, let's get started and have ourselves some fun. A little work never hurts. Roll up your royal sleeve. A little work never hurts. An opportunity to see. A little work never hurts. You're, You're the, the one, one who wins. Cause life is more delicious when more of you go any more loose change on my desk, did you? No. That's okay. I decided to accept Dad's job offer. I'll wash the car, and he'll pay me enough to go to the movies. I have a feeling I'll appreciate the movie more knowing I worked for it. Don't worry, Dinah. I won't put you to work. I can tell you appreciate me by the way you 